everybody, welcome back. Here to help kids get back into a school routine with the DIY back to school time clock is Orly. Is me. That's right. Oh, oh, Orly. This is very cool. And I think the thing that is so cool about it is not only is it really functional, but it's kind of gorgeous. It the is. style of it is clean and crisp. It's gonna give you everything you need, but it will look pretty wherever you put it in your house. And to me, that's, I just renovated my house. I want things to look pretty, right. even though I know, you know, my kids are starting school and we gotta get on a new schedule. So it's important. Beautiful. You've done a really nice job design-wise in this. And I love the fact that it also helps kids uh, learn how to tell time. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's kind of a big deal. And, the, and your, your kids actually helped you with this specific project. Exactly, exactly. Oh. Well, they were the inspiration for it, was figuring out for them when we try to tell time how to do it. So it's a clock but each of the colors represents something that we have to do. When we're at five, we can watch a little TV. When we're on six, we have dinner. When we're on seven, we take a bath. And we're on eight, we go to bed. So what number is the little hand on right now? Seven. So what does that mean? Bath time! Bath time! Go, Blakey, go, go, go! Kelly's like, what are we doing? That, oh, my dog. Yeah. What's happening? What's happening? I'm like, I'm making yeah. a TV show. I'm still watching, the, I'm yeah. still watching your kids. And that. you know what's another really great thing that I actually thought of doing after I showed it to them was if you have little kids, like for me, Blake won't know which is the hour hand, which is the minute right. hand. I put a little orange crayon on the hour hand so I could say, all right, Blakey, where's the orange crayon? That's the hour. What number is that oh, on? smart. So it gives you the option even more to help teach them time, smart. which is really okay. cool. Okay. So smart. walk us through how you did this. Okay. So you're, well, actually, I worked on the main section of it, which is the plexiglass and the frame clock. So there's my plexiglass and I knew that I wanted it about 14 and a half inches down so I taped off about a five inch section so that I would be able to drill through it. Then I found my center and I marked it. Now you want to take your drill and you want to go through slowly. You like slowly and go faster and faster and faster but don't start fast because it kind of slowly uh, like almost burns through the plexiglass okay. and you need to go through tape to protect it. So now I'm taking my clock mechanism and I'm putting a little bit of E6000 directly on the back side of my plexiglass. This is gonna end up being hidden. Now I put the hands on and you just follow the directions of your frameless clock, how to okay. do it. Now the clocks come with all of the numbers and they come with a guide, which is really cool. So what I did is you center it right on the, the center of the hands and then you look, I decided mine, the top of them should end at the 30. So I was able to work my way around making sure that each one was even so I could give myself a perfect circle. Okay. So these came with a peel off back and you stick them on. So at first I just took to see how it looks, I did the you know 12, sure. 36, and yeah, nine. Sure. And then so I went in. You line properly. You yes. don't want them all askew. Exactly. And I love that you use plexiglass. Where, like where did you get, get this sheet of plexiglass? So I was able to get this on Amazon. This one's a 24 by 48 and it was available on Amazon, not very expensive, oh, cool. came in two days, you know, that's great. Love but it. if you want something smaller, like you saw where this was, it yeah, worked yeah. being big. It's right. awesome. If you want something smaller, you can go to a glass place and they'll cut it to size. Yeah, but it looks good. so cool when it's really, large like that. You it know, is really like a piece fun. Art. Okay, so now yeah. we have to set our schedule. And I see you have some sort of emojis yeah, down. Exa <laughs> emojis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So again, for the kids, they can't read yet. So this is, at, you saw in the video, I hadn't put them on yet. So you can see these are emojis. They know what each of these things mean, which is really cute. So when they see, they now know what the hour hand is. They now know what color. They now have a guide for what we're doing during that time. And this it sort of good. takes so the good. responsibility off of you. Yeah. You can be like, listen, it's on that, the guide. It says it on the clock. It's on the guide. It says it on the clock. We can do. It's I didn't playful. make the guide. It's easy to read. <laughs> well, Instead of just like guide, a list. But... You know, we've done it in the past where we have a list. And it just seems a lot yeah. more kind of right. like military. You know, this, this is, is fun. fun. This yeah. is fun. We're like, go to the clock. What does it yeah. say? Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And I know you want to kind of add. because yeah. uh, So basically, so I want to show you how I did it. Yeah. it. So basically, you find something to create a circle. So use a bowl. Use whatever you want. You just yep. want it to be larger than your number. Okay. You're going to trace it on the back side of your glitter cardstock. Yep. And then on the back side of that glitter cardstock, then you're yes. going to cut it out. So here you can see I've got one last red. You can see where that's all that we're missing. So okay, let's good, good. tilt this little guy up. You got it. It's coming up. Careful, careful. Perfect. And now what you want to do is take glue. Ooh, the double side stick. Yeah, place. and these are actually called glue dashes. And you want to hide them in the back of the number where you're not going to be able to see it. Yeah, so see, front, it's, it's right. in the middle there, so you won't see it. I would do more than one, but for right now, I'm just going to pop this on. Now, you want to center it as best you can in the number and spaced between each one as you go around. That way it looks perfectly okay. symmetrical. Yeah. And now, the last thing, Deb, I'm gonna squeeze around you. My last one is my little sleepy emoji. We printed this here on um, label paper. So now, all I have to do is peel the label off and this becomes a sticker. That's genius. And I stick it right on the front because 
you know, both of you know, you guys have kids. Obviously, schedule changes. Summertime, yes, so different seasons. Maybe this ends up being like baseball practice, sure. basketball sure. practice, volleyball, whatever it is. So these peel right off and, and can change. Up. And now it's done. Now we can stand it. We're going to set it right over there. Obviously, if you wanted to hang this, you could drill holes and hang it, but I like the standing effect. I what think is, sure. Could we add to it, like, you know, at 3 o'clock, we have to do the homework that you came home with or something? Uh, you know what whatever I your – yes, and actually, Debbie, that's a great point. You want to make yours based off of your schedule. So if you're someone right. who homeschools your kids, right. that could be it. For me, we're only home for, like, 45 yeah. minutes before we leave for the day. Right. So you're so starting my time at 4 o'clock. Yeah. There there you go. You that's home. my time frame. And you check and it. You, you got go. a little activity time, pool yeah. time, and then the chill TV time. They get a little chill TV time, dinner. green is for food. Yeah. And the piece resistance. Stones. I love how you finish this off because it wouldn't. She always has to put a little bow around all the <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fact that you yeah. have this camera, oh, oh, you pop that up there. You got it. You got all the paperwork that our kids come exactly. Home with. You know what so I mean. So this is now a full station for them for their schedule. Well, we have everything organized. It looks balanced. That's why we left it open on the bottom. It's balanced. It's pretty. It's, it's super beautiful. functional. There's stacks of paper cute. going all over the place. Like, seriously. Oh boom, you got it all in there. Seriously, yeah. yeah. Orly, so that's good. Awesome. Thank you. That's adorable. Yeah, for full instructions, check it out, hallmarkchannel.com.